Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ricky and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Unfortunately, most people watching my vids right now are not actually subscribed. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, that would mean a hell of a lot to me. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get even more performance on Fortnite and how you can make it run a slight bit better. Um, in my last video, I showed you the main thing that you can do and I'm also going to re-show you that in this video. But I also said that there's a couple of other things that are not fake that actually work. Unfortunately, most things on YouTube are fake. So all you want to do to start this off with is come down in here and type in run and then obviously search that and then a the little box is going to come up here. Now all you need to do is type in percent app data percent with no spaces as I do on screen and then once you've done that there's going to be a little button at the top here that says app data and then all you're going to want to do is click on local and then once you're on here find Fortnite game and then once you've done that guys there's only one option here just click saved and then the next one you're going to click on is config and then you're going to click on Windows client and then there's going to be a setting in here called game user settings now before you click on this one right click it guys and untick this box here if it's already unticked then it's fine but make sure you untick the read only box and then you can go on and open up this file now in this file you'll see something called FPS now all you need to do is go on Fortnite play a few games and have a look at your FPS and see what number it rarely drops below even if that's 40 guys and if that's the case then you're gonna have to cap your FPS to 40 60 as you can see mine's capped to 80 it's gonna be different for everyone um, also I have a different resolution to slightly help um, increase my performance it's not full HD so once you've done that and then click save make sure you click save a couple of times just to make sure and then come out of there and then right click on it again click properties and make sure that you re-click the read only box and then click apply and then OK now once you've done that all you want to do is come back to the search bar down here and type in choose a power plan and then once you've done this guys there's going to be a few different things that you can click now most of you won't see the ultimate performance one like i have here uh, that's because i did like a secret unlock thing um to get it but unfortunately it, it doesn't really do anything else guys if anything it makes it worse so all you want to do is click the high performance one guys um, and that's going to literally give you a lot more power going into your you know all your parts and stuff in your pc and it's going to make it run a slight bit better now once you've done that obviously click apply and then come out of there and then go onto google guys and then you're going to want to type in timer resolution download i'll leave the link in the description if you're too lazy um but all you want to do is download this guys it's a very very small program i promise you it's no viruses or nothing like that it just reduces your input lag on fortnite guys so that's obviously a like a big big thing and it's going to help you not lag uh it's definitely going to help all your graphics and stuff load in unfortunately on my last video i did see a few people saying that my graphics are still not loading in so i'm hoping that this is helping you out um if it does then be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video um, but as you can see here once you've downloaded it all you want to do is open it in winra um i'll also leave a link to winra in the description if you don't uh, like if you haven't downloaded that uh, but open it up in winra and then drag it out onto your desktop and then you're going to get like a little logo here and then just click on it guys and then you want to click maximum and then it's going to make it i think it will say like 499 or something like that um, but unfortunately you do need to leave this program running so do not click off it whatsoever um, just minimize it in the background now there's also one more thing that you can do that i also mentioned in my last video but i didn't show you how to do it now this is going to help the game dramatically literally I would say this is the second most important thing other than capping your FPS to the right number to actually get a lot better performance on the game. So all you want to do is load up Fortnite guys. The game must be loaded up first and then you're going to want to open your task manager. Now you might have to bear with me here because unfortunately my Fortnite does take a while to, uh, like to actually load because I do have a bad PC unfortunately. So once it has loaded though, you're going to want to come into your task manager and right click on Fortnite. Now don't worry guys, I am going to show you on screen in a second. Obviously Fortnite's just loading. I'm just going to quickly explain it for those of you that know what I'm going on about. And I'm going to explain it for you guys now quick. So all you want to do is you'll see Fortnite in your task manager. And then all you want to do there is just right click on it and then click go to details. And then you want to right click again on the main Fortnite game and then it will say set priority. And then once you've done that, it will say high priority, click on that one, apply it. And then what that's going to do is it's going to send so much more energy and power or, what so, or whatever to the actual game itself. So if you've got tabs open in the background, they might start to lag out. So I'd advise to shut all your Google Chrome down and all, like all your programs and stuff. What this does is it literally sends all the power into the game. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I have a little bit of a black screen here because... Um, 
uh, not a black screen, but a black bit on the right hand side because I have a different resolution in the game. Um, but yeah, so as the game loads up right now, just minimize out of it and then come into here and then right click on it and click go to details and then click on the actual Fortnite one. Make sure it is the uh, Fortnite one and not the others. It's the biggest file, so you'll know what one it is. And then just click change priority and then put it to higher performance. And then once you've done that guys, you are ready and there's literally nothing else you can do other than buy a new PC to get a higher performance. Um, if I've helped you in any way, like the video guys, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.